that's it for one minute okay so again it doesn't look like much but it's a good one now if you're used to working these muscles you can get a free weight okay you have to dip down a little bit further to get there the biggest thing is to keep your chest up don't start hinging as you get fatigued because when you start to hinge forward it's going to put pressure on your spine so if you're going to use the weight you've got to keep your chest up deal deal, deal. about keeping your hand back here that'll usually keep your chest up it's kind of hard to drop your chest when your hands up so if you can keep that hand back there that'll keep you in proper alignment all right great job drill number two move all my uh, props here all right you're going to be in a plank we're going to go down and do something and then we're going to go up and do the same thing so i'm going to start on my forearms i'm going to do both feet so i'm going to tap four times four three two other side four times walk it up same exact thing four taps out as far as you can go over back down now if you're brand new you've never done the up and down you're not going to do the taps you're just going to walk it up and down first and get that down once you got that you can add in the taps side. I'm going to get my weight. Again, the weight is completely optional. On one leg, blade of the foot, chest up, hand up. So reach down, back up. So the sides are doing all the work here. Pick my weight up, keep my chest up, squeeze my belly button to my spine. Good. all the way down, come all the way back up to the top. Don't cut yourself short. 